Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and if you've enjoyed watching the Craft and Dead series, then you're going to like these three things I have in store for you in order to make your world into the zombie apocalypse. Let's get into it. So when you first ever want to come into a zombie apocalypse, of course what you want is a good world. Well, luckily for you, in the description there is a free download Minecraft world made by this man here. And his map is in the link in the description. Actually, his web page is on Planet Minecraft. So is everything else I get everything from. It's from Planet Minecraft. So go check out his map. His map, and I'll give you a quick tour, is what we are using for in the Crafting Dead. Uh, you can see this is the community in which our series has been based on, and here is the massive city. That wall is there because he has more plans for this uh, map, and it is a horrifically massive map. There's a hospital, there's cities, there's a bridge. When you spawn in, you are given a story, and that's the best part about this, in my opinion, is that there's a story to all this. You are a survivor, depending on what class and choice you make and you have to go and find uh, a radio tower in order to escape and to find this radio tower you have to go through a mountain and that ain't that ain't easy back to what i was saying over here of course you want a good map and so here it is dead earth link in the description go check it out make sure you leave a like comment on that guy's map because he put a lot of work into this he did really really well and then of course the second thing you want is guns guns in the apocalypse it, it's as if it's a gimme so in order to do the guns, and that is the that is the real meat and grind of this data pack of this uh, showcase, is that there's quite a lot of guns. You know, just for for show, you have all of these guns from sniper rifles to automatic weapons to pistols, and they all have their individual sound effects. So if you haven't been watching the Craft and Dead series, you'll find out here that they all have their unique sound. On top of that, if you pay attention to the bottom here, it also shows you how many bullets you have in the magazine and the durability. So if you were to... You know, that's probably going to take a while. This pistol will break. So much... And just like everything else as well. I'm just going to get rid of that. Also, you may also be wondering why I have all this junk. That leads to the second coolest part about this data pack. Is that you don't have to be in creative mode in order to do this. If you wanted to get on this world map and only have one data pack installed this gun data pack gun data pack made by Elihan Elid Han <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong but he's um in his uh, data pack you he gives you the ability to craft your own guns on survival mode and that's why you have all all these if you want to craft these items in survival mode it's quite simple actually all you have to do is get yourself a book four things of gunpowder a crossbow and three fireworks now, that sounds simple, and I get it. It doesn't <laughs> actually sound simple, but if you're in this zombie apocalypse world, you can find these items pretty nifty. So, as in terms of getting the resources in order to make this here gun crafting manual, you can find the resources pretty, pretty easily. Once you open it up, it'll take you to a full set of the pistol category, the shotgun category, SMGs, rifles, rifles, snipers and LMGs and then if you want to make one of these oh sorry <laughs> I just forgot that if you want to make one of these you have to click it but you have to have all the items shown in this little needed tab to the side so if you wanted to make a Colt 19 you need a short barrel a receiver a pistol grip and a magazine and luckily the the web page has all the recipes for you so you can go check that out if you don't want to do that I'll just make a massive uh, picture and I'll have a download link for that below so it's easier for you to switch to and fro from how to craft these things but in order to craft these items like the short barrel pissed for the short barrel the receiver all you need is like wood some things of iron and all these here things <laughs> so and all you would need is some iron fireworks some wood and that's uh, some pretty basic stuff. You can make yourself a short barrel, pistol grips, and all these items you see before you. And then all you have to do, if you want to make one of these here, 
weapons is just click and there you are I now have a desert eagle which as well has its own has its own firing sound now you're out of bullets what, what are you gonna do now y you're out of bullets well guess what they have their own ammo and crafting recipes for that as well so as for the desert eagle you have to get the medium caliber ammo is for most pistols they're the low caliber and for anything higher than that like uh, the rifles you want the high caliber but most if not everything takes the medium caliber ammo in order to reload your gun you take the gun and you put it in your off hand and then you take the ammo and you put it in your main hand and it looks off here and if you were to do it this way it wouldn't work so you have to put the gun in your left hand though it looks like it's in your right hand and then you right click there reloaded and then you press F again and put in your main hand and there you go you can go back to firing again let's go check out the rest of the guns and their individual aspects so I think we're gonna go through all the pistols first so we did the Desert Eagle and the Colts here is the Magnum the Magnum looks pretty cool in the hot bar here yeah, I think it's one of the uh, one of the cooler pistols it really has an awesome sound effect and it's turning nighttime actually let's go test this out on a few zombies oh and um, this takes some medium caliber see hear that back to shooting you go so that's the pistol in action and it takes about three shots in order to kill it desert eagle does about two shots alright uh, the next gun is the Colt The cold is quite weak, but you can actually go into the settings of the data pack and you can upgrade the uh, data pack. Now, I'm not that smart. I only know how to upload data packs to Minecraft Worlds, which is going to be the video shown in the beginning of this here tutorial. So if you want to go check that out so you can learn how to do data packs. Anywho, so now let's do the shotguns. The shotguns, they do the medium caliber uh, ammo as well. So let me just... Here. It also has the ability to break glass, apparently. Alright, so put in your off hand. Right click. Back in your main hand. Gonna fix that. Good night. Alright, and that's the shotgun in action. Or one of them. Here is the Remington. Which does... Wow, it takes... It's just one shot to the head. Holy crap. Alright. It's also... Let's go uh, get ourselves some medium caliber ammo. Reloaded. And there is a cooldown. Though it isn't that long of a cooldown, it's there. Just as an added FYI. If, you, um, if you're wondering why you can't automatically just start shooting guns blazing and all that. Alright, now let's start trying the rapid fire guns. First one on our list is the MP5. Oh yeah. And most of these guns, they can break glass, it appears. I've never tried it out. <laughs> That's kind of annoying, so I'm actually going to change the setup. Alright, now I have a better setup. There you go. The MP5 in action. And, of course, it does medium. Oh, sorry. It does low caliber ammo. There you are. Alright. And then we have the Uzi. And again, they have all their all cool, real sound effects, and this is what they look like in the offhand. It does shoot out <laughs> bullets like it, it's seen, and this is multiplayer friendly. So if you want to bring your friends on and shoot up some zombies, have at it. Y'all could totally do that. Here's the AK. Alright, here's an MG42. This gun looks big. <laughs> uh, okay, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Chickens. All right then, after the uh, crime scene has been cleared up, we can move on with the tutorial. 
And so I just eliminated the um the coolest gun. Maybe the coolest gun. Eh. Oh, check this out. We got a tattered book. That is actually part of the zombie data pack that I'll be showing you in a second. Where are you going? Think you're gonna run away from me like that, Jack? Where you come from? Anywho. Uh, and now we can do the rifles. The sniper rifles. And this one's suppressed. And apparently you can't you can't look down the scope just yet, which is a little upsetting. But this does have a longer range. So if you have Optifine <laughs> Yeah, the suppressed gun. It's not that very cool this one. But it's a it's a gun nonetheless. Alright, now we have this And this one You know when you've been hit. Yeet. Anywho. And then we have the last one, the Beret. Which these should take high caliber. Yep. And there you go. And that there is all of the guns. And now it's time to move on from the guns to the zombies themselves. Let's get into it. Alright, so here we are. We have ourselves a little zombie cage. And we have the basic and generic zombie. Now, with um, without the texture pack, which I custom made for the Crafting Dead, which, if we get enough likes on this video, I actually consider giving out to the public. Now, without the texture pack, it looks like a normal zombie, and their, uh, their sound is the same as well. Come on. Don't be such a wimp. cry baby he didn't say a single noise oh that's why I put the weather on <laughs> yeah he sounds like a zombie all right now every now and again you may get lucky and you get a tattered book from the uh, zombies and this tattered book is actually a manual for a cure so if you were to die here let me just um, set my spawn set world spawn all right and then kill myself Alright, so as you can see, that when I died and came back up, I now have all these effects. Mind fatigue, hunger, slowness, and strength. If I game mode myself to survival... Yep, I have all these effects, and I move very, very slow. Now, also, because I killed myself and I was in creative mode, I didn't spawn with it, but I get spawned with a custom zombie head, usually. So, give me a second while I start grinding in order to get that. You know what, since this spawned here, I'll show it to you. This is a swarm. There are multiple types of zombie. There are multiple zombie types that are fast roamers, just the normal zombies, and then there's the swarm zombies. So if you're unlucky enough to have one of these spawn on you, they'll spawn just like that. It'll look like one zombie from afar, but the moment you hit that sucker, he'll vast multiply like a, a cancer cell generation, or like a COVID virus. I don't know. And so these swarms, they don't do much else, but the moment they all see you. They actually don't attack you. They don't attack you as a zombie. Because I'm a zombie right now, I can walk right through them. Now, hold up. Oh, yeah, I got mining fatigue. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of them. And that is one of the big advantages of being a zombie. I actually had a third life slash zombie apocalypse uh, episode or two in a massive city. Not this one. I'm hoping to start that up again. Where the goal was, as the survivors, to outlive the zombies. And players, we all randomly picked one guy to be the zombie, and he would try and chase us down and turn us into the into uh, other zombies. Now, if you punch these fellas, they they don't get mad; they're fine with it. They don't care. So I'm just gonna end their existence. So usually, as the zombie, you spawn with this on, but because I was in creative mode, it didn't happen. But this is what you be spawned with, and you actually had this hat stuck on your head. You couldn't get rid of it. But, lucky for you, you have a solution to being a zombie. You can actually be cured. And you can cure yourself thanks to this tattered book. According to the tattered book, there are instructions. There are many threats in the Minecraft world, but none as deadly as a zombie virus. It infects players and even some animals. If you ever find yourself infected, there is a magical item that can cure you in, in crafting the following recipe. Where these dashes are the emeralds, 
and this is a zombie head. Note the zombie head must be one that belonged to a custom zombie. And by custom zombie, this one. And then the last page, uh, you will be cured of the infected. So, if you're on this map and you can find villagers and you can make emeralds, so let me grab this and grab an emerald. What you do is you take your zombie head that after killing multiple zombies, you get a knowledge book, which is an eye of ender, and then you get the zombie amulet, and you right click to cure yourself. And there you go. Just like that, all the effects disappear, and again, if I was in a creative mode, the hat would also have disappeared. And so that's the zombie cure, and you can keep this if you are in survival mode. Never mind, I was wrong. Okay. Zombie amulet works all the same, though. Alright. And well, just like that, we have done it. We have survived and indulged in the zombie apocalypse. I hope you enjoy this tutorial on the data packs that can make your world into a zombie apocalypse. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, keep crafting.